thank you for coming. And uh, we are going to start our ceremony with the singing of the national anthem, which will be done by Leanna Smith, a student from Bernathan College. Yeah, if you don't turn and face the flag in the Brickman parking lot, please. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say dust that star spangled Banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Leanna. Um, I think you might have a new opportunity with the Flyers. They need someone to replace, to be the new Kate Smith, and I think you'd be a good candidate. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Today we are here to break ground on a new synthetic turf field, which will be known as the General Ronald Nelson Field. We are honored to have General Nelson join us today, along with several other speakers. We are so excited to shortly begin next, this next, next week the construction of this new field, thanks to the generosity of supportive donors. This new field will be able to serve the Bernathan College in so many important ways. But I would like you to hear how that's going to happen from both our athletic athletic director, Matt Kennedy, who will tell you about the programs that will be conducted on this field, along with hearing from one of our student athletes, Shane McCurdy. Well, thank you, everyone. This is certainly exciting for, uh, for Bernathan College. I know our, our field sport coaches are ecstatic this day has come. So to thank you for everybody, and uh, I want to start by thanking the Board of Trustees, the administration, our faculty and staff, our student athletes, our friends and family, and a special thank you to our donor family that made this new field possible. Uh, without your generosity, obviously this would not happen. Our current prospective student athletes will benefit greatly from this field that they'll call home in the sports of soccer, lacrosse, and field hockey. This field will serve as a stage for our student athletes to showcase all the lessons we teach our students of honesty, integrity, and service to others right here on this field. You know, we all work in athletics uh, to play a small role in the formation of our student athletes, and this field will now serve as another classroom for our coaches. You know, it's, un it's crazy to think of all the uh, lessons that will be taught on this field are, are certainly immeasurable. So on behalf of Bernathan Athletics, our coaches, our student athletes, uh, thank you very much for making this reality uh, a, a, you know, come to fruition for us. I'd like to uh, invite Shane McCurdy to come forward to, to express a statement on behalf of the student athletes. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Shane McCurdy. I'm humbled and honored to say a few words on behalf of our student body regarding the development of the General Nelson Field. Thank you to Matt Kennedy and President Blair for allowing me to speak on this special day. I'm a current sophomore at Bernathan College, and I grew up in the Bernathan community. It has been amazing to see the numerous developments the college has made to, Bernath to make Bernathan College like nowhere else. This turf field will undoubtedly help propel our varsity programs to the next level, while also serving as a space that the student body and others can enjoy. Growing up, 
I've had the opportunity to learn about the amazing legacy of General Nelson and the impact he has had not only on the college, but in the community. General Nelson has set the standard for how student athletes at Bernathan College should conduct themselves on and off the field with integrity, courage, dedication, and commitment. General Nelson, it is truly an honor to have our new turf facility named after you. As a student athlete, we will continue to embody the framework that you laid out many years ago. Thank you, and go Lions. General Ronald Nelson is a respected alumnus who attended the college from 1950 to 1951 after graduating from the boys' school in 1950. As a longtime teacher at the academy, General Nelson was instrumental in the creation of the Bernathan College men's lacrosse team 50 years ago. General Nelson's legacy is rooted in the use of sport as a platform for teaching integrity, courage, dedication, commitment, and honesty. Speaking personally now, I have to refer to General no Nelson as Coach Nelson, which is the title we addressed him while we were college students. Coach Nelson was indeed a special man. Every student athlete coached by Coach Nelson admired and appreciated the education, the training, and mentoring that he gave each of us. He also gave us invaluable life lessons that have indeed lasted a lifetime. He inspired his student athletes to take on tough competition, to believe in themselves, and to play the game with true sportsmanship and teamwork. I would like to share with you a recent story I have about Coach Nelson. Last spring, I called 14 members of the original inaugural Bernathan College men's lacrosse team, who, which was started in 1966. And I called them about honor, having them participate in honoring the team and joining this honor with uh, Coach Nelson. Honestly, I have to say that at first, when I called players out of the blue that never heard from me or the college in many years, thought I was calling them about money. And you could just tell, oh. But then I mentioned that I was calling about Coach Nelson. And there was an immediate change in their vocal tone. It was an amazing experience to hear the love and respect that each player had for their coach. But I was not surprised. Now turning back to General Nelson, the soldier, he also set wonderful examples in leadership, patriotism, and accomplishment. Some of these things I didn't know about when I was uh, being coached by him. For example, I knew that he was a Marine, but I didn't know what an exemplary military career he had. He was a designated <coughs> naval aviator back in 1956 and had probably one of the greatest responsibilities in flying Marine One during the President Eisenhower's administration. After leaving active duty, he served in the Marine Corps Reserve, and he was continually promoted through the ranks, eventually to Major General. And he served on bases up and down the Eastern Seaboard. Even in retirement, General Nelson has an ongoing passion for naval aviation and has served on the board of the Wings of Freedom Aviation Museum in Willow Grove. At Bernathan College now, we are very fortunate to have such a great role model to name this field in his honor. Thank you, General Nelson. I hope this is right. Can you hear me out there? I very gratefully accept this honor, but I accept it on behalf of all those great kids that I coached over the years. 
it's a, a joy when something like this happens to you and you get a chance to look back and think about all the wonderful young men that, that, that uh, gave everything they had to be successful. And one of the, the things that they don't know and that I would love to be able to tell each one of them is the fact that they gave me the privilege of never having to work a day in my life. Uh, I loved teaching, I loved coaching, and it made life a real joy. And I remember a number of years ago, I spoke to the seniors, senior boys, and I said, uh, you want to do what I was able to do and find a job that you don't have to work. It's something you love to do. And it, it, it is really an amazing sense and feeling you get when you look back and say, boy, I really never did have to work. It was all fun. And to be able to see young men grow go out and do things they never thought they could do. And then to talk to them 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, and they still remember some of those things that they learned. And I, I just am so grateful for this honor to honor them. And I wish there were some way that we could replace the name with all their names. Because they're all there. And thanks to the college and their athletic programs, there'll be a lot more of them that will fill up the bottom of that chart. I appreciate you all being here today. I, I had a little speech written and my lovely daughter suggested, no dad, that's not you. So uh, I tore it up and I did promise everybody that I would not talk too long. So I want to say just one more time, it's such a joy to be able to coach and teach and anybody that has the opportunity to do it ought to do it. And I hope somewhere out here in, in our college we'll get some teachers coming down the line. And one of the things that, that we're missing is coaches. We need education coaches out there. And so I'm hopeful that our education department will start producing some more coaches. So thank you again for coming. I really appreciate it and I appreciate the donors that are putting on this absolutely fabulous field. And I know that it will do great things for our college athletes. I, I'm just looking at the colors and I hope you all take a look before you leave today. Uh, it's gonna be a really bright, beautiful field when it's done. Uh, I've never seen uh, uh, colors that look like that on a field. So thank you once again and have a great rest of your charter day. I hope to see you all at the banquet. Bye. Marine fashion, we're about to begin the ceremony of breaking ground with these beautiful foxhole shovels. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that, I've asked uh, both Chancellor Keith and our Vice Chair of the Board, Char Charlie Cole, to say a few words about both General Nelson and our <laughs> appreciation to the donors that made this possible. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, General Nelson, for the coaching over the years. You talk about not working a day in your life, but you sure found a way to make us work. <laughs> that, there's no doubt. When your coach is a, a general in the Marines, you work. <laughs> so, um, I'm Charlie Cole. I'm the vice chair of the board of trustees of, of the Academy of the New Church, um, part of the um, board that oversees Bernathan College. And as the vice chair of the board, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I say thank you 
to the uh, to all the people that have made this possible. As we break ground on what will be truly a state-of-the-art athletic field, we prepare for a future at Bernathan College that continues to grow brighter and brighter. On behalf of the board, the thanks goes to the athletic department, the faculty, the administration of Bernathan College, and thanks to our very generous donors. It's your generosity, your hard work, your vision, your dedication, and most importantly, your standards of excellence in <coughs> pursuing and executing on our mission. Our mission is new church education. Those things have made this day possible, this state-of-the-art field possible. On Charter Day, we celebrate the founding of Bernathan College and the other institutions that comprise the Academy of the New Church. We're reminded that our mission involves preparing students academically <coughs> and spiritually to see the world and themselves differently. While there's no doubt that athletics delivers outstanding benefits to athletes, physical exercise, teamwork, discipline, perseverance, winning, winning with honor, losing, losing with honor, and never losing your honor. Athletics of Bern at Bernathan College delivers more, delivers greater, a greater benefit to all of our students, all of our faculty, all of our administration, and to the college itself. This is due to the fact that our athletic department has become itself a center of excellence. It delivers outstanding competitive teams. It draws interest and inquiry from students and stakeholders. It provides an additional enhancement to the wonderful education and other opportunities available here on the campus of Bernathan College. This attention and inquiry helps support the other many centers of excellence on our campus including all of our faculty members and administration. There are many, many great things happening here as we've seen this weekend. This in turn <laughs> allows us to continue to reach students and prepare more students academically and spiritually to see the world and themselves differently. This field, the students that will play here, the fans and the families that will support them here will serve as a beacon shining a bright and warm light on our wonderful college, the Bernathan College. Thank you very much. As with everyone else, it's quite an honor to participate in an event like this to, to honor Ron Nelson and his family and, and all that they've contributed over the years to this institution. I'd just like to say a word of thanks to donors the Lord has blessed each and every one of us in so many, many ways. And some are able financially to do more than others. And it's wonderful to see those and, and actually everyone, no matter what level of contribution you give, to be giving back to the academy because it's really giving back to the Lord and recognizing the talents, the abilities, the loves that, that he showered upon us. And so to see that come full circle from a gift from the Lord to people and then gifts back to the Lord through a field like this. It's just a joy to behold and, and it's what the Lord would want to have happen so that people can truly appreciate what he has offered and so they can be part of that circle of life and participation in the Lord's way. So a great thanks to all the donors who have helped out to make this field and, and everything at the Academy possible because it's your support that enables the uses to go forward and and all these wonderful things to take place. Thank you. Fortunately, I did not wear my fatigues today. So we're going to have a ceremonial picture set taken with us with these uh, wonderful foxhole shovels. And then I would like to uh, uh, close the ceremony with a few other remarks.
thank you everyone for coming today. Just a quick update. Our construction will literally start next week. We're all set with all the out markings and equipment ready to go. Uh, this field will be, we expect to be completed sometime in early December. Uh, the field will be ready to handle a lot of heavy use, which is the reason we wanted to put this in, since grass can only go so far. This field will also have a new feature that's not been available in Bernathan, and that is we will have night lights here. So we'll be able to play after sunset. I know that there will be many future records broken and many challenging competitions to overcome. But Bernathan Athletics will always be something special. And I hope all of you can join us in the years to come with this special field. Thank you, and thank you for coming this afternoon.